Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero. Welcome back to The Hanged Man. Previously, we had a terrible idea to enter a spooky building while also losing our talking mouse friend. This area is new. A fire extinguisher. There's a building map. Ooh boy. Take the map. This is kind of a weird place. Something's on top of the flower pot. Oh boy. A headless doll. Why is it headless? And there's a string tied around it. Wait, is this hair? Hey! Listen. Sheesh, what does it take to get your attention? Are you just ignoring me? So, you're Will, right? I don't have the wrong person, do I? Oh, I'm glad I got it right. Okay, let's get going. You'll catch a cold. Stop! Stay away from me! Y you're that cafe girl, aren't you? Why do you know me? And you stirred a hole for me earlier. I asked David. You're his cousin, aren't you? Huh? You asked... D David? I'm David's friend. He's worried, don't you know? Okay, let's head home. How did you find me here anyway? H hey wait a sec! How is everyone finding me here? I said wait! Let go, you stupid girl! Hey. Jeez, you're noisy. I'm just doing what I was asked, okay? What do you mean, asked? I explain yourself! So, after I was done with work, I called David. I was like, I had a customer who looked just like you. Then David said that was his cousin, who came to visit but disappeared, and he'd been looking. So I decided to help him look. A truck driver near the freeway said he saw a boy head into the woods alone, so I wondered if he might have been here. David's been super worried, so what were you thinking, visiting him and then disappearing? Oh, be quiet! I was gonna go back eventually, but that isn't important right now. What's that mean? I got separated from my friend in there. I just... I can't leave until I find him. Maybe not mention that they're a talking mouse. Huh, you came here with your friend? David didn't say anything like that. It'd be super awkward. Alright, in that case I'll help you look. Good. Huh? R really I mean, there's no way you can just ditch your friend. Let's get you reunited and leave quick, okay? If it starts snowing hard, getting back will be rough. So I have a feeling. Here's what my feeling is. There is going to be some weird... Ship. Where Sophie had a crush on David, and obviously David's married now, specifically. Uh, and Will, I'm not quite sure of Will's age, if she, if he's similar age to Sophie, or if he's much younger. So, let's go under the assumption that they're of a similar age or something. Um, there's gonna be some weird ship, where since Will looks like David, there's gonna be some romance there, or at least a one-sided crush going one way or the other. And I'm gonna call that now. There's nothing in the trash can. There's nothing on the shelves, just like this theory. A shelf theory. And OS has been left on the board. Notice, Miss Dr. Dennis Sinier has taken a long vacation for recuperation purposes. Okay, there's nothing on the shelves, just like our chemistry. Sazam. Can I go to the toilet? Damn. It's gone. What is? Th there was a doll here, but it's gone. 
Was there really? You weren't just seeing things? You're doubting me? I really saw it! Jeez, no need to shout. You're a weird one. Empty. Empty. Hanako. Damn. I I'm always seems like I'm in search of that meme. A lot of times it's usually there. Counseling room one. I need to be consoled. A machine you don't really understand. Just like EA games. Shelves. Which aren't empty. Wow. That's rare. Oh, I'm not even gonna bother. Wait, here we go. Nope, that's useless. Useless! She was a lot of empty rooms. Huh? Mr. Keith? Except this one, sadly. Why are you here? Do you two know each other? Hmm, I guess. Why are you here, Mr. Keith? Bored? Do you think I take my walks in places like this? It's for work, obviously. You're the one who needs to explain herself. David said he was looking for his cousin, so I'm helping. But said cousin says he got separated from his friend, so I thought I'd help him look. Nothing gets you to shy away, huh? I say you should just get out of here. Unless you two forget, this is a technically private property. Yes, sir. Nothing on the shelves. Just like Keith's sense of humor. Get going. I told you to your papa, Sophie. I I know, I know. Damn Keith, who talks like that? You're gonna be in trouble. Hey, what's your connection with Keith? It's awkward. He saved me when I got involved in an incident a little while ago. He's also my dad's client right now. Client? Papa's job covers things like inheritance, and I guess he wants to write a will and testament. A will and testament? He seems pretty young still. Old or not, people die. I guess so. Wow, that's really awkward. Hey, is he really a detective? He's kind of nasty and stern and scary. He's not a bad guy? Isn't that the stereotype for, like, detectives and old detective dramas? No, not a bad guy. Not a good one either, mind. Well, which is it? I mean, every time we meet, he always teases me. Like calling me matchstick or starving chicken. Or chicken nuggets. Or Mickey D's. Or Frosties. Or In-N-Out Burger. Or Jack in the Box. That's terrible. Or empty shelves. Right? Nursery. Oh yeah, this is not... It's not terrible at all. Small toy house. Small toy house. Storybook. The boy who cried wolf. Once there was a shepherd boy who had to look after a flock of sheep. One day he felt bored and decided to play a trick on the villagers. He shouted, Help! Wolf! Wolf! The villagers heard his cry and rushed out of the village to help the shepherd boy. When they reached him, they asked, Where is the wolf? The shepherd boy laughed loudly. Ha ha ha! I fooled all of you. I was only playing a trick on you, Ash. A few days later, again he cried. Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf! Again, the villagers rushed up to his hill and helped him again. They found that the boy had tricked them. They were very angry with him for being so naughty. Then sometime later, a wolf really went into the field. The wolf attacked one sheep that never and another. The shepherd boy ran towards the village shouting, Help! Help! Wolf! Help! Somebody! The villagers heard his cries, but they laughed because they thought it was just another trick. The boy ran to the nearest villager and said, 
A wolf is attacking the sheep. I lied before, but this time it is true. Finally, the villagers went to look. It was true. They could see the wolf running away. Many dead sheep lying on the grass. A doll. Its stomach is cut open with Connor coming out. Great. Machine, you don't really understand. Beep boop. Dirty bed. Trash cans empty. Shelves. Hey, Keith. Can you get that toolbox down? Sophie, get it for him. I can't reach it either. Ch. A screwdriver, a crowbar, and a hammer. The essentials. And they'll all break in one use. I wasn't sure what room this is, but it'll work. There are some drawings that look like a child's. Woofs. One day, a shepherd boy saw a wolf beating over wolves. They were talking about attacking the villagers and eating them. And also about the latest Game of Thrones. But the boy said nothing to the villagers. A few days later, a lot of wolves attacked the village. The wolves ate lots of the villagers. The boy watched the villagers being eaten and shouted, It serves you right! You wouldn't believe me, so you got punished. That's great. Wow, it's a sequel. It's a sequel to The Boy Who Cried Wolf. There's a piece of paper on the desk. It's titled A Conversation with Lisa Gardner. Sam, Lisa, could you tell us about your pictures? Is that The Boy Who Cried Wolf? Lisa, yes, that's right. Sam, it seems to have a different ending. Did you make it? Lisa, yes, that's right. Sam, why did the boy let the villagers die? Lisa, because they didn't believe him. Sam, the boy was the one who lied. Isn't he the one who did something wrong? Lisa, grown-ups lie all the time, too. Sam, and all the villagers died? Lisa, no, four of them are still on the run. Sam, what are they doing now? Lisa, I don't know, but a wolf buried them soon. Sam, why do they need to be eaten? Lisa, once all the bad grown-ups are gone, we can go anywhere. Go anywhere, anywhere, once everyone is gone. Bunch of wolves gonna eat the villagers after I sing this song. You're next. Damn, there's a lot of generic rooms. <laughs> what? What is it? I just... There was some sort of shadow. Hey, stop it. You just mistook something, right? There's something under the bed. There's a doll in the bed. Oh god, it's that doll. Better save again. Hanako. No. I miss the days when bathrooms were like death traps. Like good old corpse party. This is the doll that was in the flower pot. It was over there? You're sure of that? Are you saying the doll moved by itself? I'm not lying! It was really over there before! 
Seriously, you don't have to shout. There's a doll of hair wrapped around in the toilet. It has no head. Let's head out of here. Examination room number four. Number quad, to be exact. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I'm me out there, but it happened. Don't question it. A staff member's diary. It's blank. It's of these words that magically float above the text. Well, the text of the pages. Some Blade Runner stuff in here. That Andy really creeps me out. He's always gathering people around the visiting area for some weird divination. They're convinced that they have to follow their fortunes. Sometimes they won't eat or won't take baths, or they burn their own hands. The patient in 2103 is finally getting sent to Building 3. Thank goodness. That girl drove the doctor off the wall and sent him on vacation. And making a psychiatrist neurotic is no joke. Just watching her wander around makes me feel like I might lose it too. And he's not listening to me anymore. Says he got a bad fortune, so he won't leave the room. He's just been clinging onto the table. We'll have to hope he dies that way. Lost the key to the library. Well, there's a spare, so I can probably leave it. Besides, I don't want to get yelled at. Bathtub is filled with muddy water. The wash basin and drain. Looking closely, there's something in the drain. Don't question it. It's a puzzle. This makes sense. With the proper context. Proceeds to say this as you're cutting open a doll slowly with a sharp knife in some weird building. It makes sense in context, I tell you. Why don't you believe me? <laughs> you never have characters questioning this enough. Oh, man. So one weird, funny life. <laughs> Here we go. Sitting under the chair. Doll of a cut open stomach. Still, uh, still been wondering about that doll cutting thing. Don't question it. It's a puzzle. It'll work. It makes perfect sense. I can I still can't fathom uh, how someone would come to that conclusion. Like this is how I proceed in life. I gotta like just find these dolls and just cut them open. <laughs> oh God. You know, it's a it's a little bit obtuse. You know what I mean? Doll. Cut the doll. Stall in the drain. Don't give me those weird looks! This puzzle makes perfect sense! won't open? Y yeah, it doesn't look like it's locked, but... I'll try it. Move aside. Huh. See? It opens. What? B but That's bad. It's a bad omen. Ah! What was that for? That's also a bad omen. There Equally was just bad. more shadows. 
I told you to knock it off. Are you trying to get me scared? I'm not lying. There really are these shadow things. I've been seeing them over and over. C come on, shadows. Just what are you trying to say? Ghosts. G -g 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 Ghosts. Well, that worked really well in timing. There was oh my god, oh my god, this place is haunted. There's a ghost, and it just things, came out of nowhere. And I'm just it was really bad. Help oh us, please. Oh god, Steve, this is bad. Please this is bad. help We're us. Gonna die. Oh, shut up. Damn it, Scoob. I quit the forest a long time ago. You just trying to drag me in. I ain't like the old days, Scoob. I ain't like the old days. Sophie. We don't solve mysteries anymore. Not after Shaggy died. Um, Will says he saw ghosts, so... Mr. Keith, it's scary. Come with us. Will? Alright, let's go. One more for the road. For Shaggy. Just so you know, I'm not kidding or anything. But I've been seeing all these weird shadow figures. You have to believe me. Well, I've got some good news for you. Ghosts don't exist. There you go. Dismissed. Except for that one time where I was haunted by my own inner turmoil and almost killed everybody and did kill them in some of the bad endings. Hold on now. Damn. You won't come with us? Listen to yourself, Sophie. First fairies, now ghosts. What's next? Aliens? Yes. We're gonna have the alien's dog ending from Silent Hill on this. I'll tell it's gonna be an optional one. Rambling about nonsense. Out of my sight. Yeah, make fun of me, will you? Well, fine. The two of us can handle it. Come on, Will. Let's go and handle it. I wonder if this one will stick to fully supernatural in the end. I'll be a little bit curious. There's a building map posted up. That's a lot of empty rooms, so I'm gonna have to check repeatedly and make some kind of empty shelves joke in. I'm not sure I have enough creativity to keep this up. Oh boy. Cloth laid on the table. Why is there a cloth on this table? This sort of looks like what you put tarot cards on. Really? A friend of mine used to bring them to school. Look, it's kind of faded in the shape of cards. Maybe it's meant for a three-card reading? Three-card reading? It's where you turn over three cards from left to right, and they tell you your past, present, and future. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Select target. Change position. Flip orientation. Close. I'm gonna make a weird guess and see what happens. The tower. The hangman. Death. Oh yeah, if you flip them over you get different alternate meanings too. Nice. We'll be back. Well, <laughs> you can't go any further? I'm sort of scared. I've got this weird, gross feeling. I don't want to go. Huh? Do you want us to solve this? Tyranny, unease, ruin, and salvation. So it's either the first letter or it's reference. So it'd be like tyranny would be like emperor. Uh, unease would be um, ruin is tower. We know that. Unease might be moon. And salvation would be the final card. The only one they need is salvation. Let's 
Could also be justice, could be tyranny. Tower. You said That's you a weird puzzle. Or something. Is it okay now? Kind of feels a little better. Hmm. Well, whatever. But I saved the game. Oh boy. There's nothing on the shelves. Just like me and how tired I am. Just like me and that time. I remember with. There's a spooky thing going on that door there. We're gonna ignore that for now for this running gag. Just like my time spent with the Mr. Gang. Why'd you drag me back in, Scoob? You know I don't want this. Don't want to deal with them ghosts. But anyway, I gotta deal with it. Nothing on the shelves. The bed is dirty. Boop. Nah. Okay. That is kind of scary. Why is it over here now? You saw it before too, right? This was the doll in that toilet. I haven't seen any doll at all. Is it really the same doll? It's not exactly easy to tell in the dark. Besides, who would have moved it? Why won't you believe me? This is definitely it. Because I don't want to believe the doll moved on its own, okay? Well, yeah. Let's head out of here. Again. No, we need some visual cue before we go into a room. Generally. These are all empty. Like them shelves. Oh boy. Yep. There's a scrap of paper on the floor. Got a note. Well noted. That makes perfect sense. There's a wooden box on the floor. Got a wooden box here. Oh, it's dice. Door is sealed off with an iron plate. I'll show you iron plate. Yeah, we ain't doing that. The concrete wall is crumbled, showing the wood framework. The wood is rotting. I'll show you concrete framework. That didn't make any sense. There's nothing on the shelves. Just like this room. The door to the bathroom is broken. Hmm, so the crowbar did disappear after one use. And so did the hammer. Once again. The breeze has fallen onto the floor. There's a hole in the ceiling. Okay, you gonna do anything about? The chair alone won't be getting up to the ceiling. Selfie? The table. 
Or save again, just in case. Can I reach the next floor standing on the table? No, there's no way. Stack them. That's a weird hole. What? Oh man, this place is big. Someone's been here. Our friend, who we've only seen once. Okay, the door to the bathroom is broken. Security box has a dial lock. Hmm. How many times are you gonna look, you little perv? It, that's not. Huh? Five, five, three, four. I swear I was just looking at for the password. Black notebook. If this is a notebook Ed wanted, in that case I shouldn't take a look inside. I'll hand it over if I see him. And that's when I committed all the murders that you would have known about if you just spied on my notebook. But now that you've handed to me in person, I can now murder you. Thanks for reading this now. That's what I'm calling. Yeah, unless there's some kind of visual or sound cue, these rooms are useless. Mouse. Pop, are you nearby? Better save. Again. Dining room. Pop! Thank goodness! I finally caught you. Don't go anywhere anymore, Pop. I'm hopeless without you. What are you doing? This is... Mm, not Mickey, I mean... Picky, picky mouse. Sophie, uh, thanks for all your help. Now I finally caught up to Pop. You're scared of rats, aren't you? Uh, huh? Pop, say hi. This is Sophie. Ah! Why are you Damn you stereotypes. D don't tell me your friend was... This is Pop. He's my friend. I've been looking all over for him. No! Keep it away from me! That's disgusting! Pop? Wait! Y you you're friends with that rat? You've got to be joking. Those things are so gross, not to mention... Uh... Um, look, I didn't mean... I just thought it was a human friend, you know? So... Uh, your friend's pretty cute, huh? I don't really care for rats myself, but... Let's, let's just stop digging the hole. Go. Just go! Get out of here! Why bother showing concern for a kid who's friends with a gross rat, right? But... you need to go too. That's what I was going to do, but I'm sure as hell not going with you anymore. Sorry, Will. <laughs> oh no! Murdoch? Who? Will, why did you throw a ball at Mitch? Mitch is a doo doo head. It wasn't me! Captain Murdoch did it! Oh, here we go again. And tell me, where exactly is he right now? He was with me earlier, but he ran when you came, teacher. 
Will, what do I always say? No one likes a liar. As punishment, you'll have no recess. Understood? Teacher got mad at me because of you. <laughs> Her in the mall. Will, I was doing it for you. Why you keep messing with me? I wanted to be Mitch's friend. We seem to have a lot of friends like this, don't we? But Mitch treats you like a dummy. He's always smirking around you. Am I wrong? Maybe you're right, but I... Listen, Will. Ain't no reason to be friendly with people who don't understand you. Not Mitch, not the others, not Teacher. Good friends gotta have understanding. Nobody out of this bunch knows a thing about you. They won't even try to know. Everybody calls you weird, but you know that's not true. They're the weird ones. They're dummies who don't know the things you know. You'd be better off on your own than trying to befriend the likes of them, don't you think? Ain't nothing to worry about, cause you've got us. We're the only ones who can understand you. Ain't that right? Are you guys my friends? Course we are. Who, who's the other person? I mean, toy. Nothing lonely about it, eh, Will? You've got lots of friends. Sophie. Oh, mouse ran into here. There it is again. I get a bad feeling from this area. It's not hot at all. There's a sieve in the counter. There's a pot on the stove. Nothing in the trash can. Ed, what are you doing here? I thought you were way over in the other building. <laughs> Surprised? I know all sorts of secret routes here because I used to explore all the time. Is this the one, Ed? You found it? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. That's where I confessed to all these murders I did years ago. Good thing you gave it to me. Is that notebook yours? No, it belongs to someone I knew. He showed me it a long time ago. I'm glad it was still around. A long time ago? Fifteen years back. I lived here for about a year. Um, I heard that after it shut down as a mental hospital, this was a homeless shelter. That's right. M my father drank a little too much, so he couldn't do good work and was really poor. And m mom was dead, so... Then a priest at the church told us there was a place where poor people could stay for free, and invited us here. M Mr. George, who gave me this notebook, lived here. He gave me a photo too, but I'll probably never get that back. This is a big place. Seems like it'd be hard to live in. S sort of. It was really cold in winter. But, well, we all came together and helped each other, so it was really great. You don't look too happy, Will. Did something happen? I... I got separated from Pop again. Also, there was a girl helping me look for Pop, but I said some mean things and drove her off. You'd better apologize later, then. Even if I did apologize, I'm sure she wouldn't forgive an asshole like me. You shouldn't say bad words like that. Not to yourself, or to other people. It's okay. I'm sure she'll forgive you. You're a good kid. Uh, I'll be going now. I'm still looking for something. 
Um, if it's okay with you, would you come with me? I'm feeling kind of discouraged being alone. Not sure this is a good trait of party members. Sorry, well, I'm in sort of a hurry. Uh, there's something I need to do. This notebook you gave me has the method. I can finally make some progress. If you find your t talking rat, I want to see. I really like rats. Okay, I got it. Ed, do you know about the happy murders? You lived here 15 years ago, right? Y yeah, I was there. Lots of police came. It was a big thing, and then we c couldn't live here anymore. That must have been scary. Five people suddenly being murdered. It, it, it was just natural. Uh, after all, we were really unhappy. Bye now, Will. Completely, completely fine. Goodbye, person who may or may not be some kind of evil twist. Something attached to the bottom. Taking a torn label. Ah, it's to help us sell the dice puzzle. <laughs> 